good evening. It is in the middle of the zero hour. The midnight vampires are all, they all suck. All you vampires out there, you all suck. That's all you do is suck. You know, you suck, but no action. No action. You're just vultures. This is a uh, necro here at you one more time. We are here to do another tale of the cryptics, the uh, future. Uh, this. This is called Darkness Descends because the darkness hath descended. It is in progress. It, the darkness descended. It is among us. It is alive. It is before our own very eyes. So, you vampires out there, keep sucking. Keep sucking, vampires. Keep sucking. You know, because that's all you do is suck energy and time and space and God's own breath. But we are supposed to be lights in the darkness. We are supposed to be here as the light of uh, Christ I don't see any lights my friends I don't see any lights in the darkness I see a lot of uh, nonsense uh, a lot of darkness hath descended upon Christian people they're uh, they're not following their own word they're not following their own Bibles. Some people, like, they're just surface Christians, you know what I mean? Like, they're just there with the name Christian. And, uh, their hearts are, like, far from God Almighty. You know? Their hearts aren't with Him. They think they know with their mind how the Bible is, uh, um, um, taken. You know, and uh, all these religions have uh, fall short of the glory of God in mathematics or in uh, philosophy. We as people know what's fair. We have this thing called common sense. And the common sense is the Holy Spirit. The whole Bible is about common sense. The whole word is common sense. And it's a reminder every day to be a righteous person or be a fool. And that's up to you in this darkness dissension. You know, uh, we're supposed to be lights in a dark place. Where are your lights? Where, where is the uh, salvation? I mean, I don't see salvation on earth, that's for sure. Not in the church, not in a palace, not in a uh, Disneyland. You know, and we are, you know, we're supposed to be the lights of the world, the salt of the earth. We're supposed to make things better for people. We're supposed to open our arms and help each other out, become one family under God Almighty. And, uh, like, you know, that's not really happening. We're being divided like, uh, you know, uh, like, a, like a cow. We're like this little cash cow. That's what the church has become, like a big cash cow 
and everybody's got their little piece and part in it and uh, it's not the Holy Spirit it is a uh, man-made contraption which benefits only the man who creates it benefits only him and his compadres you know this isn't a joint this is just a cigarette I'm out of money but that's okay you know money isn't everything and the longer I live without it the better off I'm gonna be and if I die so God so help me God and uh, you know God allows me an avenue to just ask him to do something and I'll, he'll do it if it's righteous and it's gonna teach people how to see God and how to you know I mean God is in this whitewashed uh, creation he's got his own mind and a lot of people in the church and in religions they start thinking that they're they are God or they're speaking for God or both you know and they're not really speaking to the God of the Bible you know you gotta watch out for these people I don't have to mention these people you know them all like you know Copeland the Copelands you know I don't care if, if the Satanists take down those places because those people are like severe money pigs money mongers you know like Benny Hinn like they're just like money mongers and who knows what else they do in their private time I'm not here to judge them but uh, you know what I think they've judged themselves and people still follow this garbage this garbage uh, TV Jesus you know like they follow this TV Jesus and it's not even it's just another idol in people's hearts it's their own imagination speaking to themselves that's their Jesus not the Jesus that died on the cross to give us the Holy Spirit to comfort us in dark times as we are going through and I'm sure you know in the future it's gonna get worse and worse it waxes worse it says in the Bible it'll wax worse and worse it's gonna get so sickening that we're just gonna to want to like you know jump off the, the planet I've already had that feeling you know and uh, I, I like talking to the computer you know I would like to get you all together as one big family in Jehovah and Jesus Christ I don't care who you think you are or what you think you are we are not our preoccupations we are beings beyond all this we don't need to have titles we don't need to have uh, a, a garb to identify ourselves you know and this darkness has descended descended upon us it's been going on since the start of time you know the devil and God's uh, controversy it's a God and the devil controversy it's not a conspiracy it's a controversy it's it's you know between God and the devil and uh, he gets to let loose on people who follow vain glory you know people that are shallow and uh, don't deserve the kingdom of God because they would not respect it and they've abused this life I mean if they abuse this life they're definitely gonna abuse their next life you know You know, we should be rising together as one unified force and like a fist, a universal fist, and punch a hole in this grotesque system that we are uh, enslaved to. You know, this grotesque beast, this seven headed beast. Ten horns and uh, 
just a beast. It's just a, a, a wild beast with a, the Holy Spirit, and that's what people want to ride. They want to ride this beast instead of uh, abode with Jesus, you know, abode in his, uh, his rest, his Sabbath. You know, you got to rest in Christ's, Christ is the Sabbath. He became the Sabbath. He, the Holy Spirit is the Sabbath. We are resting in him. We are resting in him. We are dead to the world and alive in Christ. And, uh, you know, but we got to be shining our lights. If we don't shine our lights in the darkness, we are useless to the Holy Spirit. And uh, the Holy Spirit won't uh, hang around if you're doing foolish things. Holy Sp Spirit is not into foolishness. The Holy Spirit is... Uh, is what Christ gave us on the cross. And you either accept that or you don't. It's up to you. Like nobody could uh, make up your mind. Not even God will make up your mind. God doesn't brainwash people. God does not hurt people unnecessarily. But when people do get wicked when people do get really wicked then God always has an army to deal with it he'll always raise up an army like World War two and they're gonna do God's gonna do it again with another guy another Hitler or Napoleon It'll just be another face on the dragon or on the beast. It'll be another head on the beast system, you know? I think Germany will rise again. I think there'll be another person coming from Germany that will be really astounding to watch. I think Germany will be a big part in this new world order. They've already had it in place in the World War One, so it's their program. You know, the MK Ultra came from Germany, right? Controlling women, controlling people, like you know. And uh, you know, well, I hope you are the light of the world. I hope you uh, receive. Um, a uh, baptism of fear I hope God gives you a baptism of fear so you become like Christ and you fear doing evil and wickedness and you know all the things that the devil has for you I break that off of you I've become the conduit of your evil and I will dissipate it into the abyss where it became because this is crucial times folks these are harsh times these are very uh, strong you got to be really strong spiritually not physically because uh, God shows up in your weaknesses to really know God is through your weaknesses where you're weak, that's where God is. Is in your weaknesses, not your strengths. You know, and he might be holding you up. He might be holding you in his arms. And saving you from a lot of danger. And uh, you got to give him love. That's what God is all about. God is love. He wants your love. He wants you to show your love like, like the sun shines on the universe. And if we have no love, then we are useless 
to all and everything we touch. We all must have love. Love is the most important fruit of the Holy Spirit, the very most fruit of the Spirit. And I mean that with all my heart. But uh, we are, you know, we are here to protect the innocent and the young. And we are here to uh, make the world a better place to live in for all, except for those that uh, deny Christ. If they deny his ways, then uh, then they're too, uh, they're too headstrong or they're too into their ego. Like the Bible says, they get blinded. They get blinded by the world. You know, or the devil blinds some of these people. So, you know, not only does the world blind people, but the devil can blind people. The TV can blind people. And now they got uh, techno that can blind people. Like you see on the bus, people are just like right in their, their iPhones and their uh, little gadgetries. You know, they're just lost in it. It's like they're like, like in an abyss. You know, it's like, it's really sad to see a whole nation being deceived all at once. You know, and you can't say much because people will hate you and, uh, uh, you know, conspire against you, you know and uh, make your life miserable and uh, they get off on that kind of stuff so you know you know what I mean S sisters and brothers you know I hope uh, we all learn the lesson because this is definitely a lesson we must learn you know, compassion for all people. No matter what we think or what the Bible is supposed to say in your own ego. You know, that's the problem with the Bible is peop it, it can get in the wrong hands and people could blaspheme it even worse and then make people, and they do it on a purpose and they're probably Satanists, some of these people that do this. To like the social engineers that engineer all this stuff, you know, for all these young, young people. They got traps for you, young people. They got traps and snares for you, people. And uh, their traps and snares never, they they never stop working. There's one falling every day right now. Another person's being trapped and snared inside the uh, Hollywood cube. You know, and uh, the darkness has descended upon us. You know, because it says uh, we should be lights in a dark place. We should be there for people that are suffering in the dark. That's where we should be. We should be seeing how they're doing. How can we help you get out of this mess you're in? Uh, we gotta do it on on mass and a big scale, together as in one body. You know, and uh, you know, in the Bible, uh, God used sometimes ragtag armies. Little ragtag armies will just he'll use them to destroy millions, billions. And if God's with you, who could be against you? If they want to believe their fairy tales and all their uh, Hollywood uh, brainwash, hey, that's cool. That's their choice. But I could see how much this TV has uh, influenced people and uh, the Hollywood movies and Japan Amaze and uh, video games and... Uh, 
who knows what else uh, you know 3d you know uh virtual reality put a become a a, a a slave even more put on this uh goggles be a slave even more i mean who would put that goggle thing on your head i mean are you ri ridiculously stupid or you've been brainwashed into doing it I mean, I would never put those goggles on, those like VR, virtual reality goggles. I would put on the Microsoft uh, HoloLens though, I like that. I don't mind the HoloLens. But all this other stuff, why would you put that on your head? You know? Darkness has descended, my friends. It's, uh, it's right in front of your eyes and all you Christians out there talk a big talk, but I don't see a lot of action going on. We should be, like, tearing down their bulwarks and, uh, you know, taking down their fences and, you know, taking we, taking a stand or lay down and die. That's the way I see it. It's like we either take a stand or lay down and die. And if we don't, then we die. And what good are we if we did not, if we don't stand for something? You know, the standard is the cross. You know, the cross is very important to a Christian. And that's cool with me, and I'm almost ready to pack her up and go to sleep. But we are a family. But uh, we're letting the government uh, decimate us. Like, they're already decimating us. They're not dividing us anymore. They're decimating us. They're catching us in fear. Uh, trapping us trapping us in fear in their little box boxes of fear they get our brains caught up in so remember these people are, are, are conspiring against you and they can make stuff up about you and they could do it they got all the technology to take my image and uh, make me look like I'm an alien from another planet or I'm a like fucking serial killer, you know what I mean? That's the power these police officers get. And it's not fair. It should not be. But we let it get this way. Because nobody does nothing about anything except enjoy life and uh, spend money and get more gadgets and. Uh, you know, more gadgets, man. Yeah, that's what we need. More. How about order up another hundred billion gadgets for us to pacify us while our life is while our life life sucks or somebody's life sucks? We should be looking at everybody being equal under God. Everybody should have three meals a day. Everybody should have a roof over their heads, and people should have like you know what they desire and not destroyed by a government that is a bastard king which I would like to uh, give a deadly wound to a wicked deadly wound it is written so it shall all be done on earth 